Ever wanted to know how to make a brush in Photoshop from an image? There's so many different creative things you could do with image-based brushes. So, let's make one. Hi, I'm Daisy from Envato Tuts Plus. In this tutorial, we'll walk through creating custom Photoshop brushes from an image. We'll focus on a custom feather brush. Before we dig in, if you love custom Photoshop brushes, there are so many awesome ones to check out on Envato Elements. From cloud brushes to leaf brushes, tree brushes, abstract ones, there's so many cool ones to download. Check out the link in the description to get started. Now let's dig in. For starters, we need to open up the image we'd like to work with. So here's my feather. This is a nice image to work with because it's already isolated. We want to isolate our subject like this so there's no background. So we need our subject to be black and any remaining background to either be transparent or white. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Invert to prepare this image. Now let's make a new document. I'm going to make my brush 750 by 750 pixels. Just click Create once you're happy with your chosen size. Then I'll head back to the feather image and go to Select, All. Let's copy it by going to Edit, Copy. Once we've done so, let's return to our new document and go Edit, Paste. Now our feather image is pasted here in our new document, but it's way too big. So we can go to Edit, Free Transform, and then drag the resize handles here to fix that. I can also place my cursor outside of the boundaries here, and when I see the rounded double arrow, I can click and drag to rotate my image too. The goal here is to get my subject appropriately sized and placed within this space. Once we're happy with this, you want to make sure there's no leftovers in the background or anything like that. Just our isolated subject. Photoshop is going to pick up on black as well as grayscale elements as part of our brush. So let's head to Edit, Define Brush Preset to take a look at this in action. We get a preview of our brush here and we can give it a name. So let's name our brush and then click OK to continue. And now we have our custom brush. Let's turn to a different document, any test document will do, to try out our brush. I'm just clicking to place some feathers on this really pretty cloud background. It's easy, fun, and the result is really pretty. You can really push these brushes further with things like effects and different colors. I created a second feather brush here too, using a striped feather, so I could get some variation in here. The same process applies. Use as many different feathers as you'd like. Let's experiment with a more advanced example too. This awesome photo manipulation was created by another Envato Tuts Plus instructor, Abby. You can check out the full tutorial on how to create this awesome composition step by step, including custom brushes, in the description below. Thanks, Abby! So before we add feathers to this image, note that we can also turn to our brush settings to further customize our brush. So for example, I can change the angle to make this feather face a different direction. I can also toggle right here to flip the X or Y axis. There's plenty of other options here too, like you could make your brush scatter, you could have some color dynamics, and much more. Looking at this photo, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to the feathers in the front and try out the blur tool too. I also tried out some outer glow. And this is just the beginning of what you could do here. There's so many possibilities when it comes to making custom brushes from a photo. So what kind of Photoshop brushes would you create? If you enjoyed this walkthrough, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can also click the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. And check out our channel for even more tutorials, tips, and other goodies. Thanks for watching!